Hi there, and welcome to Ed Puzzle. My name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to walk you through my account for now and encourage you to create your own account. And if you have an account, to take a look at this video tutorial and um, start working with Ed Puzzle using YouTube videos or other videos. But I'm going to focus on YouTube videos. So notice here on the left at the top, if you click on that, it opens up and you have a block here where you can discover different things, add puzzle originals, my content, which is mine, my network, notifications, and then plus my classes. You can add a new class here. Notice I have a few classes here. Uh, one is for tools for student collaboration, which uh, I'm going to, you can delete the class or archive it, which I'm going to share with you very soon. First thing I'm going to do is uh, go into add content or I could create a playlist or add a folder. They're all fine. So I'm going to click on add content and notice I can upload video, discover video content that's available on that puzzle, record a video, create a playlist, which I showed you, and of course, student project. In this case, I am going to discover video content and that's where I get YouTube. Notice you can also discover it in the community by going through various subjects or by grade levels, modules, country, source, and so on. Notice YouTube or teacher upload. Okay, those are the two sources. My school, if that's how you work, and YouTube. I'm going to hit YouTube because that's how I use it, puzzle. And notice you've got other areas here. You've got Khan Academy and their videos, National Geographic, TED Talks, um, Verticium, and so on in a crash course. So I am going to go to YouTube. Now, before I go into YouTube, I just want to show you that there are two ways of getting the link. One is in the browser which uh, may have your name. It has my name, but it has a slightly different code. Or you can go into share and click on copy, which is also a different code. At the top, it's youtube.com slash watch. And here it's another. So you may want to try either or and see which one works for you. I'm going to go to the one on my browser just to make sure that's the one that works. Next, let me go back into Edpuzzle. Notice, by the way, that Edpuzzle is here. I can actually edit with Edpuzzle. Uh, this is using Chrome extension by clicking on it. And this appears on all my videos. So that's one way of doing it. Notice it's loading the video. And that's really, really easy. Once you get your video, uh, you can add cut, of course, if you want to cut it. Um, add your voice to it. Okay, sorry, voice is now blocked, so comply with YouTube's terms of service. Upload your own video to record voice over. So things have changed. Notice we can't do voice over on top of somebody else's video anymore. So we need to upload our own. Okay, that's fair enough. I totally agree with that. I wouldn't want someone to uh, have their voice over my video. So that makes sense. You can go into questions and that's what we normally do because we want to make the videos interactive and engage our students. So notice here you generate questions. This is an AI. It's in beta. And then there are different kinds of questions. You can add multiple choice questions or open ended questions or you can add a note. And I think this is wonderful to be able to communicate with students that way. And then there are a few uh, answers to uh, how to do this, a few tips Okay, to see what students understood. We don't need to do that to read that, but you can if you want to. So let's go into the create questions. Notice again, this will create questions for you. You can also use Google Bard, any generative AI, Google Bard, Bing, ChatGPT, Claude, and so on. So uh, for open-ended or multiple choice, I like to uh, Sorry, when I built general quiz for this video. Interesting. This is my video. Why is that? Notice it's in beta, so we're not going to argue with that. Let's go into open ended and see if that's possible. Yay, we can do this. All right, so we might be able to do that. 
Notice allow audio responses is off. You can turn it on so that you can also uh, add your voice. Your open-ended question. And the question might be, how do you create a talking photo? What tool do you use? or can you use, or is being used in this video. Now, if you'd like, you can add your video to Google Bard, and Google Bard can help out. So let's go into Google Bard and see how we can utilize Google Bard to help us. So notice this is Google Bard. I'm going to go into the extension. I'm in my account. Notice you just have to have a Gmail account. Go into extensions and then scroll down until I get to my favorite. Notice it's my favorite. And um, help solve a problem or research a topic. We could use any of these and then just ask our question. Here's an example. We don't need that. And notice also with Google Bar, with yes, you can also um, speak. So I'm going to add, oh, there's another one here. Let me start a new chat here so we don't confuse it and go back into extension. You need to do this each time. Okay, so uh, that's how it works. Get inspired. Okay, so here we're going to add the YouTube video, and I hope this one is the one that works. If not, we'll use the other link that I told you about. And we're going to ask to summarize or to add questions. Write, let's see if that works. Write five, I think that's, well, not five, let's make it 10 questions for um, from the video. Let's write YouTube YouTube video because sometimes it doesn't know and it say, well, I don't do that. So let's see what happens here. And if the link is okay, I see it's going into YouTube. So let's cross our fingers. It doesn't tell me that the link is wrong because that, okay. So sure, here are 10 questions based on the YouTube video you linked. What is the speaker's name? What is the title of the video? The speaker's profession? What are some of the speaker's hobbies? What is the name of the software the speaker is using in the video? What are some of the features of uh, Vid.io? That's a spelling there. You'll have to change that. How can you make the avatar's voice sound more like your own voice? Okay, lots of questions here. We can have more questions. We can also ask, uh, of course, for the answers. Okay, so provide the answers. We want to do as much, as little as possible. Just use the prompts and um, save time. That's what teachers need to do, to save time. Because there's so much work to do in and out of the classroom. So we're waiting for that to happen. And there we are. Sorry, I'm unable to access this YouTube content. Oh, so why did you write uh, the content isn't a valid link? That's what I was telling you about. So let me get the other link. So here we are with try this link, try this link. Okay, so here's the link and what we're looking for is answers. So I don't know how it came up with those correct questions if it wasn't able to access it or maybe it's not able to access it. Oh, here we are. Sure, here are the answers to the 10 questions. All right, upload a photo of yourself. Okay, I'll export that. What are the different things you can do? Actually, don't forget, we need to change that. So let's ask, we don't want to do any work, right? So change um, V D O A I to V D I O. Okay, so now we're going to have this done so we can just uh, copy and paste it. So it's changing all the DVO. Okay, I can't just because I'm only a language model. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's going by voice and it refuses to do this. All right, we might want to ask ChatGPT or um, Bing to do this for us. Okay, because YouTube doesn't seem to want to. So anyways, you've got this here. Got questions and answers. And now we can go into uh, Edpuzzle and simply add all those questions. Okay, we can also export everything to uh, the docs. So we have it there, all organized Google Docs. And notice open the docs and then everything will be here. 
Okay, these are the questions. We want the answers. We will go into the answers and then they'll be added somewhere else. So uh, we're going to simply, let's go on here. We're going to copy. All right, and then we'll just go back into this one and add the answers. Just paste them. Okay. And, and that's it. So these will be uh, answers. Okay, so just add that. Answers. And then we can add the YouTube video here, but at least we've got all the questions. And then we can take them one question at a time. Okay, so we're going to go back into our Ed Puzzle. Let's do that now. So here we are on Ed Puzzle. Uh, open ended question. There is an open ended question. What is the speaker's name? I uh, notice it's recording here because I recorded it. Oh my gosh. Let me stop the recording. Okay, we don't need the recording because, uh, but I can show you how that's done. What is the speaker's name? So let me add the question. What is the speaker's name? And then you can hear it. What is the speaker's name? Okay, you heard that. All right, so just, um, and, and I think that's a great thing. So we'll have both. Students can read and they can also listen to it, which is wonderful. Right, so what else do we do here? So this is at the beginning. That's where we added it. Let's continue. Oh, I see why. Okay, let's go back here. And um, we have a question an open-ended question. Let's go back into open-ended and do it again because for some reason the beta didn't want to work with this video. So we're going to add also this again. What is the speaker's name? So we have both save and now it'll be added to the video at the exact spot. Okay, it's taking a bit of time here, but you'll see it. Be patient. And here we can play it. And what else is here? Replace, adjust. Time. That's the video. Okay, so. Arrange. Okay, that's how it's done. You can also add a note, of course. You can also have the audio of the note. We can also add images. We can add links, which is wonderful. And so on. So instead of... Um, Students going into the YouTube video and reading everything about it in the uh, description, we can actually add this information to the video as they watch it. So once again, let me uh, finish. Okay, here it is. And then I can notice the three dots here. I can duplicate it, move to folder or add to playlist. Okay, so let me go into my playlist. So once again, let me show you how that's done. Add to playlist. And there's my playlist. I can add the video there. You select have already been added to the playlist, so it's already there. Okay, or so I don't need to add it again. So I can go back into my content and then my playlists. And here it is. Tools for Student Collaboration. And then I can assign it or move it to another folder, duplicate, unselect, or delete. Really, really handy. An amazing platform. It's almost like an LMS where you can just add videos and have your students engage with them. Let me show you um, some more things here. Uh, these are my videos, uh, my projects. Let me go back here to my network and my classes. So notice this is the class that I created and um, I might want to add content to this class. Notice what I can do here. Let me go back. I can assign this to a class. So let me click on that and assign it to this class. Okay. Tools for student collaboration. It could be for all the students. Notice save. And then uh, I can also add it to another class. Next. And then notice you can assign it to students. Start date and then due date. 
and then prevent skipping of course by adding the, the questions and right now there's only one question let me go back into notice here with the settings it really is an amazing tool and imagine that it's for free I mean you get all this for free so share assignment live mode you can, your project you can uh, have students answer in real time in the classroom in the in-person classroom which is great and of course these are the questions and you'll be able to continue with the questions I only did one this is the live mode or you can share the assignment copy the link and then you can decide the size of your video so I'm going to, I think that's a good size, medium size. I might like the small, let's see. Yeah, that's good for me. Copy the link and that's what you're going to do. You're going to choose a video. Copy the link and let me go into the course and show you how I embed this code. So here we are, we're on the Moodle site where we're using Edpuzzle, Google Bard and YouTube in combination. And uh, we're going to go into one of these so we can add it let's go into google bard benefits and challenge interactive videos and there we are with ed puzzle and i'll add the video here so you can view it but let me just give you an example of what it looks like i'm going to share video and show you how i share it share ed puzzle video with interactive questions in this case but it could be interactive activities or activities right so what i'm going to do is i'm going since i have the code i copied it now i'm going to go into tools notice you can open this to see more the three dots here you go into tools and then source code click on source code and then the source code page area opens up you click on it but don't click in the middle click under one and then paste it like that and then save and you will see it there it's coming up there it is okay and notice it says get started and then you're going to post a form and that's it it's embedded so let's go back into it to see what it looks like I think it's nice to add at least 10 items questions notes and so on and vary them with multiple choice as well as open-ended questions you notice that the AI is in beta so it may not work for the video that you add or it may work it depends how do you choose a video? You use Google Bar to choose your video and there's a video on that. So watch that to find out more. And that's it. That's Ed Puzzle. Amazing, isn't it? So we were here. You can also copy the link, of course, but I prefer if you could embed the code and don't make it large, make it small so that it's not too large for the rest of us. Now you can also view it as a student, so you might want to see what it looks like. Go in as a student, and this is what the student will see. And then notice this is where, let's just skip that. Oh, we can't skip it. Okay, so I'll just wait a little bit until, notice the spot Hi here. Hi there, and welcome. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to take a, take a look, look at, let's move it. Oh, it doesn't want to move. So, you see, students are forced to watch the whole thing, which is a good thing. All right, you can also make it larger, and notice it's from YouTube. Questions, feel free to add them in the comment box below or in the course under support. By the way, the course video-based mobile learning is completely free, and uh, you can join, enroll, and take the course every year between January and February for five weeks. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.